no doubt the modern age is increasingly becoming a digital age a digital age is significant in many ways the way we interface with our world the way we interface with the social world and the professional world have undergone tremendous shifts because of the invasion of digital into the way that we work the way that we gather knowledge the way we have raw materials process them and deliver them as finished goods for our ultimate stakeholders be they be in the family in the social ecosystem or in the professional ecosystem or in the market ecosystem in this digital age impacted by key elements of cloud analytics social media mobility etc a large number of books a large number of discussions a large number of podcasts have come as to how to have a digital mindset our traditional mindsets a linear thinking cause and effect relationship and input output relationships are getting disrupted because the way the digital world takes inputs and delivers outputs are constantly getting changed and as a result the assumptions regarding the way that we should interact with that is also changing i did some research there are a large number of books that have been written and one of the famous ones is this one which has been uh, published recently this is uh, by harvard business press after doing a lot of analysis i have come to the conclusion that all these tips can be capsuled into seven i call them 1d 2a 3c and enveloped by a platform called i i could be me i could be something else but i in this context means something else so 1d is the power of data increasingly data will rule all our life and so we must go to what is called a data driven thinking data driven thinking meaning analytics by default informed decisions based on data as the way rather than intuitive decision making how we collect data how we filter data how we analyze data and interpret data will differentiate our success from our failures and that will make us strategic and strategy will rule in the coming world so that is 1d for you the 2a are well known again the first one is adaptability because the world is changing so fast a person with digital mindset have to necessarily embrace change and be open to new technologies new ideas and new ways of working in our young ages as professionals we had the liberty or the latitude of waiting for a long time before the change took roots these days it is months or even weeks and days in which you will have to adapt yourselves and this will tax on your willingness to learn unlearn and relearn digital technologies as they evolve continuously be on the lookout for tips which are available in podcasts like google podcasts or youtube which have plenty of material and be adaptable as fast as possible the second a of the 1d 2a is the agility agility in the modern world is looking at something where you fail fast to recover fast learn fast and grow fast this is the essence of the new definition of agility which of course the dictionary meaning is being flexible being responsive in a rapidly changing digital landscape adapt to the customer needs which are again evolving the market dynamics which are shifting the components of the technology that go towards your smooth delivery are also shifting places as we are trying to orchestrate and organize things now what are the three c's three c's again are well known but i have just put them together the first one of course is the curiosity in traditional mindset 
if you have achieved a particular thing you need to only encase on your experience or your expertise your knowledge but here you will have to keep on exploring you will have to keep on learning digital tools what could be of use you never know always be in the experimental mode staying updated with the advancements in the digital arena is what i call curiosity second is customer centricity of course customer centricity had never been out of fashion but focusing on understanding the customer needs by analyzing their journeys especially in the digital age where linear thinking is replaced by exponential thinking by quantum jumps by thinking completely in a different way you will have to explore the way that you can use platforms channels to provide individualized experience not even personalized how you gather feedback and how you deploy the power of the digital to act on those feedback and continuously iterate to develop incremental experience enhancements and product enhancements the third c is collaboration collaboration is where the understanding is that we do not have the power either as a person or as a professional or as an enterprise to deliver everything end to end most efficient manner there are others in the ecosystem who are better in parts of the delivery chain and we need to collaborate with them network with them make effective virtual teams on digital platforms and leveraging communication knowledge sharing which is the essence today of a group of softwares and digital tools which are called open source essentially it is out in the open that come collaborate with me and let us grow together now having learned about 1d 2a and 3c i told that i you can take it as i that is your own strength but i call it your innovative self innovation lateral thinking thinking differently trying always to find new ways of doing things is the basic tool of survival in the digital space again i leave you with this thought you can find your own acronym but i believe the digital mindset is 1d 2a and 3c standing on the platform of i so that you can have the potential of digital technology and digital ecosystem working to your advantage thank you very much